of your life tonight or an evening you will never forget. Either way, gentlemen, the mic is yours. Well, you just never know in sport, you never know in snooker. But one thing we can all agree on is that Graham Dot has it all to do tonight. All the best to you. But I'm sure there's a lot of Mark Williams supporters here who Mark, still want best. a long night of snooker. <laughs> Mark Williams will not be amongst them. He wants to get the job done, preferably before the interval. He leads 7-1, he needs two more, and Thank he is the champion. Line. Mark Williams to break. Just underlined how well he played this afternoon by finishing with a century in the last frame, but there were two really close frames that he won that made a big difference as well, particularly frame four, when he looked for all the world to be going 2-2. But we know, Joe, how determined Graham Dot is. Well, he's already come back twice, hasn't he, in this tournament alone. But he's been known as being never, never lying down, being known always to fight to the very last, and that's what we like about Graham Dot. And it could start with that red. Could do with a good kiss. A little bit too close to the cushion for comfort. It's a good pot, this. Yeah. And as I say, he'll fight to the very, very end. I mean, he did lose two frames this afternoon this afternoon where he could have won them both. If you take <laughs> two off of Mark Williams and put two on Graham Dot, it's 5-3. It's, it's not that big a difference what happened this afternoon. I know the boys were saying that Mark Williams played well and he certainly did. But Graham Dot didn't play quite as well as what he did in the earlier round against Sean Murphy in particular. And the crowd are trying to will him on. Nice little rub on the blue to hold for this red. Well, that's one stat where he is in front on the uh, potting with the rest. He's a very oh. determined character, Graham Dot. The problem he's got, though, is he's not playing a rookie looking for his first title. He's playing Mark Williams, one of the all-time greats, in his 32nd ranking final. He's going to need him to crumble. It seems unlikely, but when Dot's at the table, Five. it's up to him. Exactly. Nothing any opponent can do when you're at the table. That's what makes this game unique, really. Opponent can't do anything at all. He just overrun for the blue slightly. And that's why he had to play with deep screw off the yellow and he didn't quite hit it hard Seven. enough. So just the safety. Ram dot seven. Well, it's 22 years since Williams won his first ranking title. It's seven years since he won title number 18 here at the Temperdrome. And then, of course, just a couple of months ago, he won title number 19 in Belfast and uh, if he were to win tonight as seems likely it would be the first time in 15 years that he would won more than one ranking event in the same season and that was when he was at the very top when he won the UK and the world and the Masters for that matter all in the same season so it just underlines the level of this resurgence Looking at the possibility of a plant, but very risky to take it on. But he's taking it on. And it's in. One. Well, there was absolutely nothing hesitant about this, was there? What a brave shot to take on. 7-1 down. But he's made his mind up, I think. He's going to have a go. And if he gets that little bit of run as well, who knows? Well, I could have done without the kiss. Would have been on an easy red. <coughs> Six.
Yeah, another good recovery shot. Seven. That wasn't easy by any means. This is uh, Micah Kessler, the referee in charge from Manendorf near Munich. When she's not refereeing, she works in a bank. And it's worth saying there's £80,000, of course, going to the winner this evening. Well, that's not worked out for Dottie. No, I'm not sure Nine. what he played for there, because all the Reds covering one another into this right corner pocket. Just looking for some kind of a good kiss, but the full ball kiss on the red has left him out of position. Rem dot nine. Well, disappointing because it's twice he's been in, but he's only scored seven and then nine. Well, that's freed the black by just pushing the red forward. Contemplating taking the red on to the bark corner, but dangerous. And if he plays down the table, there's that red down there. So I've got to cover that as well. Could screw the cue ball back into the jaws of this pocket. It's only a containing safety shot, but... Well, he's risking playing down the table. Doesn't want the kiss on the brown. a red right over that corner pocket but he can't get to it and that plant although it looks relatively easy there there's a lot of room between the reds and if he went for that and played for the black and missed it every chance of losing the frame big decision this Wasn't far away. Has he got away with it? Mark Williams can get the red to the middle. Can he get the easy red to the right corner? That was so close. He's in. And the balls are nicely spread this Go time. Graham came to the table, all the Reds were covering one another, but now they're all available. It sounded a little kicky. Took the pace out of the cue ball, and he's not as straight on this Six. red to the middle as he would have been. Seven. 
Mark Williams, the son of a coal miner from Kiom in South Wales. He was also a boxer when he was a kid. He fought 16 bouts undefeated, but in the last of them, he fought someone much heavier than him and came home with two black eyes and thought, you know what, I'm going to stick to snooker. Because in this sport, at least the, score, the scars are on the inside. His dad took him into a social club to start playing when he was a kid. A lot of the local miners used to frequent. And he actually turned professional in 1992 at the age of 17. At that time, the Welsh Junior game, there were tournaments for the under-16s and for the over-18s. And Mark couldn't play neither. He was 17, so he thought, might as well turn pro. <laughs> Proved a good decision. <laughs> Certainly did. Fourteen. Well, too hard for the pink, not hard enough for the blue. So I've got to avoid the green. And the yellow. Now, how's your luck? If he misses the red, he'd have been nicely on the other one, but this one to the right corner is still available. Right. A little fortunate. Land again. Twenty. You can pop the yellow. <laughs> Nicely played. Is he on the red? I don't think he is. 22. He's not on the easy one. The one next to the pink may be available. But difficult to play onto a colour. Yeah, good shot. Couldn't get ideal on the pink, but that's pretty good from where he was. Got a lovely touch around the black spot area. Twenty-nine. Well, Dot's been in twice in this frame. He went on the attack again with that uh, tough plant he took on. Yeah, it was do or die, really, wasn't it? Thirty. Yeah, you can't blame him for attacking. He's not going to be able to time Art Williams up because Williams is too savvy for that. There's the plant he went for. It was uh, tough. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Forty-two. Forty-three. Well, he could take the black this time round. He doesn't need to, because he can get to the red from the pink. He's going to need one of the more difficult reds. And of course, easier to get to the colour from that red on the black cushion 50. if the black's on its spot. Fifty. 
51. So just the red needed. 58. Yeah, this is for 8-1. One. one from the title. Yeah, made absolutely sure of the red. Well, it was a, a tall order for Graham Dock when they came out tonight. It's virtually mission impossible now. This is the fifth half century Williams has had. He's also, of course, had a century to close out the first session. 66. As the ball's parted, every stat's going to favour Williams. Especially, Mark of course, the scoreline, which frame. is now 8 1. So just one away from completing victory. Graham Dock went on the attack, trying to get in and make something happen, but it didn't happen in that frame. And Williams is on the brink, leading 8 1. And he needs one more frame to become German Masters champion in 2018. He won the first staging of this event at the Tempodrome seven years ago. And he's played some seriously good snooker again this week and in this final. There's the trophy. Within touching distance now for the Welshman. Not taking the long straight red on. Graham Dot just having a word with himself. Well, he's left a red on. He could hold for the black or play down for the blue or brown. But these have got to start going in and he's got to start scoring substantially. Yeah, good shot. Didn't quite hold the cue ball for the black. It's a good pot, but now he needs another one. Yeah, that's a good pot, but didn't get the look again. Had to play the cannon. It has been a factor. I mean, Williams has played brilliantly, but Eight. he fluked to Brown early in uh, the last frame this afternoon, which made a difference. Here, this could have worked out better for Dot. So, just a safety. Yeah, very unfortunate. First of all, Brand to land so close to the cushion from such a good long red. And then to play the cannon and finish up with nothing. He's just desperate to get in and show this crowd what he can do. His first ranking final, 99 Scottish Open in Aberdeen, Dot. He lost 9 1 to Stephen Hendry. It's no fun. Well, if it's got to keep running to be able to pop that red, and I don't think it's run enough. Well, he might just be able to get the cue ball in behind the yellow. But not interested. Mm. 
Now, can he get the cue ball dead on the cushion behind the green, clipping off the two reds? Frightened of pushing the red towards the corner, maybe. enough of the long red. Oh, great pot. Couldn't see the straight red. But what a pot that was. There was nothing negative about that. And even Graham Dot has a little smile. It was always his great strength, the uh, the long pot, the single pot to get in. Eight. Oh, overcut it. Yeah, by a long way. Mark Williams, eight. Hasn't left anything, though. Uh, nothing easy. There may be a red at the back of the pack. That will go. Oh, he didn't want to kiss the reds, though. And now a chance for Mark Williams. I'm sure he thought he was kiss missing the reds, taking this red, red on, but he caught it just a little bit too thin. Another chance then for the 42-year-old Welshman in the frame he needs to win the title. A lot's changed since he won his first ranking title 22 years ago. He's a father now, of course. I'm sure all his kids are glued to this back at home. And recently, his longtime sponsor, Seven. Ron Skinner, passed away. Ron has uh, helped Mark out throughout his career. He still wears the logo. Eight. But what a turnaround in fortunes, because it's only last year that he was seriously worried about where he was going in this sport. Turned to Stephen Feeney and sight right. There's a new way of uh, looking at snooker. 13. And it's worked. It's completely transformed his fortunes. And it underlies just what 14. a great player he is. Yeah, and... Mark Williams now prove he's, he's probably playing as well now as what he ever did. And that goes the same for Ronnie O'Sullivan, John Higgins. Yes, and I think as well, there's a lot of the, the younger players Point could one. learn a thing or two from Williams and the way he conducts himself. He's not interested in, in image. He's not interested in acclaim. He wins and loses with the same humility. And it's very hard to get under his skin. Almost impossible, actually. Well, he's debating whether to go into the reds or not. There's a possible plant there, so he's got to be very careful. He's seen it, so he doesn't really want to hit the pink. So he may play for the loose red. And it could have been better. He's on this red to the left corner, but Twenty-seven. It, he's hampered. And if it's straight, he can only drop it in. Deliberately missed the pink, so he didn't get the plant. Well, I don't think he can get to that red. So he's unfortunate there. 
It's a good split, controlled split, but not on anything. Mark Williams, 27. Well, that's another mistake. Although, again, he's not left anything easy. There's a red to the left corner, but it's missable with the pressure of that red near the middle pocket. Yeah, good shot, but put everything into the pot. surprised if he turned the black down because he doesn't want to leave an easy chance for his opponent. Exactly, even at 8-1, there's not going to be any showboating. No, Mark Williams making won. it as hard as he possibly can for Graham Dot. Could have missed the black, left in Graham an easy chance. He gets his arm going and all of a sudden the crowd gets behind him. Before you know it, it's 8-3. Well, he'll settle for that. This red along the cushion, difficult to get out for the black. Right down the cushion. Well, very tough that. But I think he's going to be having a go at it. That's a good pot to the middle, and it could be the winning pot. Yeah, he's just queued so well all week. And the point is, he's got confidence back in his game, back in his technique. And he's knocking balls like this in. Well, that was a super shot. OK, he's 8-1 up, but it's still a good shot, because he knew he was leaving this red on, had he missed it. Nine. Well, there was a danger as Ron, Ronnie O'Sullivan and John Higgins ploughed on winning titles that Williams would be the sort of forgotten man of that celebrated class of 92, but he's reminded everyone this season just what an all-time great he is. 14. He won the Northern Ireland Open a couple of months back in Belfast. And he's in with a chance to win a second-ranking title this season. And who's 15. to say how many more he'll win before the campaign's over? Yeah, disappointed there because he's finished straight on the black. Wanted to have some kind of an angle to get to those two reds. He might be able to play it with top spin for the red on the cushion. No, he's playing it with back spin. Twelve. 
22. Graham Dot knows he's three balls away from losing this final. Another good shot. 23. And I think just the right side of the blue, and he just needs that red below the pink. So this is effectively for the title. 28. He's been superb today. He's having one of his best ever seasons at the age of 42. 36. A couple of real key frames in the first session that Graham Dock could have won that Mark Williams stole. But in general, he is so confident right now in his game. 36. And he's reminding everyone once again just what a great player he is and continues 43. to be. Yes, David, in at 33 to 1, what a, what a bet he's going to be for the World Championship. I think there'll be a lot of Welshmen hitting the betting shops on Monday. <laughs> 50. Pot that one, they say. The point is, it doesn't matter. It's over. <laughs> Graham Dot comes forward to shake hands. And Mark Williams, snooker's renaissance man, raises the roof at the Temperdrome. He gets a thoroughly deserved standing ovation. He's beaten Graham Dot 9-1 to win his 20th ranking title here at the German Masters in Berlin. <laughs> Rolf Kahl from German Eurosport is going to conduct the post-match interviews. Great. Well, there was virtually nothing you could do tonight. This guy just was playing awesome stuff. Yeah, I've, I've, I've played Mark when he was at his best in the late 90s, and um, that's as good as I've seen him playing. I thought he played um, unbelievable. I mean, I actually didn't feel that bad out there, but I was getting slaughtered. <laughs> Ja, er sagt, also ich habe gegen Marc schon gespielt, äh, Ende der 90er, als er wirklich in absoluter Topform war und heute hat er genauso gespielt, sagt er, ich habe gut gespielt, aber bin ja trotzdem geschlachtet worden. But still, Graham, uh, I know your last final has been the 2010 World Championship. Uh, it was a difficult time for you. Now you've reached the final again. You've played a great event. You played brilliantly against uh, uh, Sean Murphy uh, yesterday. So, there are lots of positives. I think uh, you might feel you're on the right way again. Yeah, I'm definitely going the right way. It's obviously, it's disappointing for the fans because they've been fantastic uh, the whole week. That They didn't get a better final, but they can blame Mark because he played too well. Um, <laughs> but I, obviously, it's been, it's been a long time since I was back, so it's nice to show people that I can still play, but obviously disappointed tonight. My name is Tan, Graham Dodd, Tolo Sportler. Noch schnell die Zusammenfassung. Er sagt also, ja, er sei wieder auf dem richtigen Weg. Schade, dass er heute kein richtiges Match habe liefern können, aber das sollten Sie bitte dem Mark zum Vorwurf machen. Der aber einfach zu gut gespielt. Mark. 
Congratulations. The uh, is up. The tempo drum curse is broken. You are the first player to win this title for a second time. I've, I've played I've played well all week I think and uh, I've been playing well all season and you know I didn't do much wrong in uh, in the final my safety was good my long pot in was very good and I made some good breaks and uh, you know what can you ask for playing for uh, in, in a final in front of all these people in this arena you've got to experience it uh, once some every player's got to experience it once yeah I said, uh er hatte die ganze Woche schon gut gespielt, Safety ist gut, Lochspiel gut, die langen Bälle kamen und ja, wenn man vor so einem Publikum spielt, das ist ganz einfach toll. Mark, a year ago, uh, you were talking about the end of career, stuff like that, then you've changed a lot of things, which, what really was it, what has worked, what has turned around uh, uh, your career? Um, a lot of things, uh, you know, Lee Walker, like I said before, was pestering me to go and see Steve Feeney and he reckons he could help me. And I eventually succumbed to him mourning for 18 months. And uh, what can I say? The rest is history. I'm playing, you know, 100 times better than I've been for, for many years. And it's, it's not just a coincidence. It's because I've changed a lot of things and, and worked hard because what I have changed is quite a big change. So you've got to put the work in to try and get the rewards. And at the moment, I'm getting a few, a few rewards. Ja, er sagt, äh, im Moment wird er belohnt, weil er einiges verändert hat im Team um sich rum, im Training, arbeitet härter denn je und spielt hundertmal äh, besser, als er das über lange Zeit gemacht hat. Mark, I'm absolutely sure, everybody here will agree, you are playing 100 times better than you did sometime. And you're still playing great, a great champion. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Williams. Yes, Mark Williams receiving the cheers of this packed temper drone. And now the prize presentation. Thomas Cecil from the promoters Dragon Stars will present the trophy. I want to also mention Brandon Parker, another promoter who's not well at the moment. We sent him our best. He's played a large part in this tournament's success. Den Geschäftsführer des Promoters des Veranstalters Dragon Stars Event Management. Begrüßen Sie Thomas Cesar. And boy, is it a success. Everyone loves coming here. And why wouldn't you? Look at this arena and the warmth of the crowd, the support that the players have received all week is much appreciated. Eine fantastische Woche. Ein toller Typ, ein toller Kerl. Und ein großartiger Vize-Champion beim D88.com German Masters 2018, Graham Dodge. Well, it was his first ranking final in eight years. It didn't end the way he wanted, but... Maybe tomorrow he will reflect on a good week, even if it was disappointing today. Aber die 80.000 Pfund Siegprämie, der Kristallpokal und der Titel DNA.com German Masters 2018 gehen an The World Spotting Machine, gehen an Mark J. Williams. Ranking title number 20 for the great Mark Williams. His second this season. He's riding the crest of a wave of confidence. What a performance, 9-1 the score. And you'd wonder now just how many more trophies he can take home this season, playing how he is, feeling how he is. He was the first winner here at the Temper Drone seven years ago. And there's another one for the collection. Brief word from you, Joe, in closing. Well, a worthy winner, clearly. Oh, absolutely. And it's great to see Mark Williams back at his best and winning tournaments. And as you say, how many more can he win? I mean, he's got to be one of the favourites for the World Championship with that kind of snooker. And we'll look forward to seeing him again shortly on Eurosport. Yeah, there's Lee Walker and Steve Feeney, who he mentioned in his speech. And I'm sure they're going to have a good night in Berlin. He's had a great week here.
all those uncertainties that he had about his career are a thing of the past. He's right back at the top again. Celebrates his 43rd birthday next month, but playing as well as ever. It's the first time in 15 years he's won more than one ranking event in a single season. So we send our congratulations to Mark Williams. He is the 2018 German Masters champion. He's played superbly all week and he got the job done in no time at all tonight. Congratulations to Mark. I'm sure he'll have a great night here in Berlin.